watching something and allowing your brain to be controlled by the images of another author. That's mm -hmm. where things get really bad. We're allowing our children to be programmed by authors who have a non have an ungodly worldview. You know, when we first started this, we actually made a movie. Um, I got an eighth of the way into the movie, spent fifty-five thousand dollars, and um, I was working on my dissertation at the time. I was taking um, taking classes for my doctorate, and I started reading how damaging, literally, anything you watch, anything. Okay, it could be Jesus of Nazareth. It's harmful to a child's brain. Okay, because what a child is watching. They're seeing it through their eye gate, goes immediately to the brain, mm -hmm. and they're watching things in two to four second increments. That's what's causing the ADD type of phenomenon right now. They're starting to think in two to four second illogical, disconnected thought patterns because of what they watch. The United States Army did this in the 1940s when putting strobe lights in front of um, some of the soldiers, and they would attach the, um, you know, the, the electrodes to their heads, and they would do the EEGs, and they would be able to to graph the brain wave length activity. That same, that same um, technological phenomenon is what we use in television or computers today. And so when children are watching something, anything, it doesn't matter. Whenever there's this transition of two to four second increments, it's programming the way a child thinks. And so that's why it's so dangerous. And so when I, as soon as I was, I'm in the middle of producing this movie and I'm like, I got to stop. And I canceled the movie, spent $55,000, wow. canceled it. The actors, producer, directors were livid with me. They were like, what do you mean? You can't do this. <laughs> like, yeah, I can do it. I'm the one that's paying for it. I'm doing it. So that got scrubbed. And then I started realizing that faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So when a child either reads something, mm -hmm. it, that's what connects with the left side of your brain. Generally speaking, left side of your brain. That's, that's where logic and your convictions and your values are stored. The right side of the brain is your pleasure center, and that's your artistic side. And so I'm not saying that the right side is bad, not because not right. that's where your artistic side is, but watching something and allowing your brain to be controlled by the images of another author, that's mm -hmm. where things get really bad. We're allowing our children to be programmed by authors who have, a non, have an ungodly worldview. We, we have to stop it. We're, we're losing the battle. Satan is so sinister. He knew exactly what he was doing. He's going to be, be able to reach our children in the living room and in their bedrooms. And we got we to gotta control that and give our children a substitute so that the imagination, the theater of the mind kicks in. So what they're hearing, they're doing the imagining, not the author on a movie.